hi everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to make this mastercard logo animation inside of after effects in this video we are going to make everything inside of after effects and i'm going to share a lot of information not just how to animate the things but also i'll show you how to make things smoother so if you are struggling with smooth animations this video is gonna help you quite a lot and with that said now let's begin <laughs> All right, so let's start the process. So I'll first select rounded rectangle tool and draw a rectangle like this and just decrease the stroke size. Select this layer and press Ctrl F and type in roundness and just increase the roundness of it. Okay, and just decrease the size of it a little bit. So I'll go to the size and I'll decrease it a little bit. And after that, what I'll do, I'll just create two circles using the ellipse tool so i'll press shift and draw a circle like this so i'll press alt and cycle through that turn up stroke and just enable the fill perfect and just duplicate this one by pressing ctrl d press p and just drag it like this okay and change the color of this one so i have this code for the yellow i'm going to use that perfect and name this one as red circle naming your layer is very much crucial you should always label your layers okay now bring that yellow circle under the red circle looks good and just decrease the opacity of the red circle to 90 percent so that we can see some sort of uh, joining points over here and that's the basically logo of uh, mastercard now the tricky part is to animate this to circle in nicely and smoothly and i'll go around two seconds and i'll press alt shift and p and after that i'll press alt shift and right arrow key to move forward 10 frames and i'll drag this one like this i'll again press alt shift and right arrow drag this one like this position it like that and then copy this keyframe and just paste it over here okay now we have to uh, make the path smooth so for that i'll select this bezier handles and i'll just make it smooth so the curves looks smoother and we can make the animations very much smooth okay If you think you need to zoom in just zoom in and make that adjustment perfect uh, here I have to change the curve a little bit yep looks nice and this one as well so this is going to be our main motion path that we are going to animate through now let's ramp preview it and let's see how it is looking looking very very bad right I know we are going to fix everything don't worry and after that i'll add an effect and that is echo first of all increase the number of echoes to around 11 so it will create a trail like that and now reduce the echo timing around minus uh, 0 0.010 so it will create a trail like that you can see now the important part we have to animate this keyframe i'll select all of the keyframes i'll go to the graph editor and make sure that you are into the speed graph okay and then select all of the um, keyframes and just press f9 to easy ease those so it will look like that but if you ramp preview it you can see that it is not looking good at all so what i'll do i'll just select this point and i'll click on this icon it actually converts the keyframes into auto bezier so after that you can see that the handles are locked and even you can tweak uh, using the handles okay and after that i'll select this point i'll just select this one and adjust okay so now let's see uh, at this point here you can see that uh, i can just drag this handle and uh, make it like that smooth curve and okay and at this point i want point and click 
and uh, at this point the speed should lose the momentum so that's why here you can see that we are decreasing our speed graph and the speed will also decrease so i'll select this point and just drag it like this select this one and drag the handle like this okay and from this point it will start losing the momentum so i'll make it like that now let's see perfect okay looking nice right adjust this position as well so that it matches with the speed properly and if you need you can just double click and you can set the influence let's set it to 22 percent now drag this handle like that and now let's ramp preview it perfect here you can see here you can see that it is gaining the momentum and the speed is very high when it reaches at this region then when it moves forward and because of the gravity it is losing its momentum and when it reaches at this point it again starts to gain the momentum and at the end it closes over here okay and i hope uh, you are learning new things from this and let's see perfect so after that what i'll do i'll just go to the echo effect and let's change the echo operator from add to maximum and now let's go back to our main composition and let's see perfect and uh, after that what i'll do i'll select the yellow circle and i'll do the same for the yellow circle as well so i'll create a keyframe on the position and i'll go forward and this time i'm going to drag this like that if you need you can press alt and that will allow you to modify each handle okay to save some time and make it easy i'm going to use a free script that is easy copy so i'll select all of these keyframes i'll copy and then i'll select all of these keyframes and i'll paste the easing of it okay and one more thing i'll do i'll copy the echo effect from the red circle i'll paste that on yellow circle and now unsolo that and now let's see how it is looking perfect right here you can see the movement it's looking very very cool after that what i'll do i'll just select these keyframes and i'll place them few frames forward to give it some offset perfect now when the circles go outside of the um, rectangle we want to expand that and transform it into a credit card so let's do that quickly so what i'll do i'll select the shape layer i'll go to the content and rectangle and after that go to the rectangle path and there you have to create a keyframe on the size let's just unlock that and go a few frames forward and now change that to a shape layer like a credit card so i'll set a keyframe on the roundness property drag that keyframe over here and change the roundness of it to like that so it will look like a credit card and after that what i'll do i'll select the rounded rectangle tool again and i'll draw a rectangle like that and name this as shape okay and after that i'm going to add an effect that is grid we are going to make uh, we are going to make it like a chip that uh, inserted in our credit cards change the size from width slider and just decrease the size little bit let's set it to around 28 and now invert the grid and set the blending mode to add okay and after that you have to just change the color of your chip i'll set black for that when it completes the animation at around this point i'm going to again bring it down so i'll just copy these two keyframes from the shape layer and i'll press it over here by pressing ctrl v then i'll copy these two keyframe ctrl c and paste it over here and just quickly uh, crop the text layer 
if you need you can add a opacity animation as well so i'll press alt shift and t and i'll drag that a few frames forward then i'll make it zero okay now let's see perfect and when it closes down like that at this point i'm going to select all of the layers again i'll press over here and go a few frames forward and i'll make that zero now here you can see the animation it is looking nice right but we have a lot of things to do and now i'm going to share that what makes the difference between a normal uh, animator and a professional animator and let's select our main shape layer okay and i'll press u to reveal the keyframes i'm going to select these keyframes and i'll drag them a few frames forward uh, control and left arrow key one two three and there i'm going to decrease the size of it so it will give a bounce effect like that and after that i'll select all of the keyframes and i'll easy ease those okay now let's see looking nice if you need you can just drag that a few frames forward and let's see and at this point i'm going to add the text and i'll just crop it at the beginning part and there i'm going to add an effect a text preset basically that i have saved for myself and it will animate like this so at the beginning part i want to make the animation as well so what i'll do i'll select the shape layer and uh, at there i'm going to add a keyframe on the size and i'll go a few frames forward so i'll press ctrl 1 2 3 4 5 and there i'm going to decrease the size of it like that to give it a bounce look now let's see so it will animate like that and while it is shrinking i want the text to animate as well so i'll set a keyframe on the position and i'll go i'll press k to go to the next frame then i want it to move upward like that since it is shrinking here you can see i'm going to select this keyframe Control c copy go a few frames forward Control v paste and over there i want it to move downwards and i want to set a keyframe on the opacity as well so do that quickly and make it zero and i'll select all of these keyframes and easy easy so this part is basically the anticipation part that we created over here basically this is the the shrinking part of the shape layer is the anticipation part and followed by a follow through action and after that it just expands complete the rotation and it again there is a follow through action that is happening over here it grabs the balls like that okay and shrink and then it moves up and if you want you can add a expansion bounce effect on the cards as well so let me do that quickly select these two keyframes i'll move them few frames forward and there i'm going to increase the size of it a little bit like that here you can see that bounce happening and let's do the same thing over here as well let's add some anticipation while it closes up so i'll select these two keyframes and i'll drag them backward and over here i'm going to increase the size of it so you can see the difference uh, using the animation principles right so that's the thing that makes an amateur into a professional one and at the end you can add some glow effect let me do that quickly i'm going to use deep glow for that but you can use anything you want you can set a keyframe on the exposure so let me do that quickly here i'm going to set a keyframe on the exposure if you have learned something new today hit the like button it motivates me to keep making new videos for you and with that said this is shumam pramanik signing off and i'll see you in the next one keep animating keep smiling goodbye